John Oaks here with Hanks' Hot Rods. Uh, here we are in our Indiana, Pennsylvania showroom today, and uh, we're just going to bring to you our newest addition to our inventory today. This being a 1972 Chevrolet Nova SS styled car. Uh, now, this car is uh, or was a body off restoration, complete body off. So, as you see when we go up through this underside of the car here, you're going to see that. Um, there was nothing left untouched on this car. Everything has either been gone through or is all new on this car. So as we do always, we start at the back of the car, work our way to the front. So here we are underneath the rear end of it. Uh, as you can see, all new fuel tank here, all steel. Um, you've got all new mounting hardware for it. You've got the rubber insulators here in between the uh, straps. You've got all new bolts and hardware here to hold it up in place. Also that fuel fill neck too, that's all new too. Uh, from what we see here of the underside of the trunk floor, which isn't too much here, but everything's all solid. There's no holes, no patching, nothing. It's all in excellent condition back here for the trunk floor. Um, as far as uh, the rear end of the car, we'll start out at the end, work our way across to the side. Uh, this car has on all four corners, BF Goodrich, Silvertown radial red line tires um, to give it that old school look there with the red lines. Um, now up front we have 215 70R15s, on the back 225 70R15s. Um, these are all mounted on 15 inch steel wheels with the uh, dog dish style center caps on the wheels. Uh, it just gives it that kind of that complete sleeper look. Um, that some individuals go for uh, to kind of hide the fact that it's kind of a uh, you know it's got a big motor on it and if you you know want to go ahead and have some fun with it you can. Um, so again those are the wheels and tires on the car. Inside of the wheels back here on the rear we've got drum brakes, all new uh, hardware back here. As far as suspension we've got multi-leaf rear suspension, we've got all new uh, KYB GR2 shocks front and rear both on this car. Um, you can see that they've gone ahead and added a rear sway bar to the car. All new mounting hardware for that. Um, the bushings uh, for the mounts, that's all new. So everything is excellent shape back here. This is all mounted up to a GM 12 volt rear end. Um, so you can see that here, 12 volt rear end. All new brake lines too on this car. So all the way from the front, all the way to the back. All new hard lines, all new lines right out here at the ends. Um, now this car has the emergency brakes, uh, the cables and hoses all hooked up to it. So everything is complete on this car as can be. Uh, and then dual exhaust on this car. So you'll see this car does have tailpipes. They exit out between the leaf spring and the rear quarter panel here. And those come out of, it's a single transverse Flowmaster muffler. Now it's a dual in, dual out muffler, so you do have dual exhaust, but you just have the one single transverse muffler here on this car. So uh, what we'll do at this time, we'll move up here underneath the center of the rear, or center of the car, and uh, we'll be able to take a look at uh, the floors, a better look at the exhaust, the transmission, and so forth like that. And you can really see how good a condition this car is really in. Okay, underneath the center of our 72 Nova here, now we can actually see how nice the floors are on this car. So you see these are the correct stamped steel floor pans. Again, there's no patching, there's no holes here. You can see just how nice a condition those are in both sides here. Okay, um, you can see those emergency brake cables all hooked up here. Got the correct hardware here, the J-hooks in the frame, the cable for coming through the other side of the frame, and then the intermediate cable here that hooks everything all together, clear to the back, drum brakes in the car. Um, now again, all new hard brake lines on this car and all new fuel lines. Now they have a, a brake line run up this side of the car, but we can see a little better over here with the way the camera's positioned. We've got new fuel line, new brake line run the whole way back here. And you can see they've got the protective coating on here around with or any kind of bends or anything would be to help protect those lines. All brand new mounting hardware here, clips and so forth. 
to hold those lines up nice and tight to the floor. And now you see uh, a better picture of the exhaust work too in this car. So we've got the long tube ceramic coated headers. You see those hanging down here. Um, you see the all new dual exhaust here with the H pipe here, the crossover pipe. And you see how nice and tight these are all tucked up in here. The drive shaft here, all painted up nice here too underneath the car. And they've, again, they've got these exhaust pipes here tucked up in as tight as what you can up inside that tunnel to give you as much ground clearance as what you possibly can. And of course you see the nice mandrel bends back there too. All new exhaust clamps again and the tailpipes that go up over top of the rear end housing. The frame rails themselves are in excellent shape. You can see how nice and square those are straight. Um, the rockers, those are excellent too. All nice shiny black paint there both sides and you should be able to see those really good there in the camera. The body bushings are in excellent shape too on both sides. They're not cracked or split or, or smashed you know excessively. They're in really good condition. As far as our transmission goes, we've got a Muncie M20 four-speed manual transmission. You see the bell housing here and it also has the dust cover for the flywheel to keep any dirt or debris out from possibly chipping the flywheel a tooth off of it or something. So again, you've got that protection there. The actual transmission cross member, you can see how nice and straight that is in good condition. And it's got a new uh, urethane uh, mount back here too. So again, tail shaft of the transmission is supported very well. Um, also, before we move to the front, Something that we can kind of see a little better from this angle might be some of those steering components. So you see tie rods here, both sides. Those are all new. All the little rubber dust boots, those are all intact doing what they should do. That's keeping the grease in, keeping any dirt or anything like that out of there also. You see a new drag link, new pitman arm, all of that stuff is all new up here. You can also see things like the brake hoses here. Those are all new too. So again, you won't have any, no cracks, no splits in those lines. You're gonna have good brake pressure uh, the whole way around. So again, drivability, the handling, everything like that, it's gonna be really good on this car. All right, and finally underneath the front end of our 72 Nova here, again, out at the ends, those 15 inch steel Wheels painted black, uh, you'll see that when we get it down. The dog dish style center caps, those uh, BF Goodrich Silvertown Redline Radials, 215 70R15s on the front ones. Now again, this car has power brakes. These are brand new disc brake kit up front. So the backing plates, the calipers, the discs, everything's gonna be all new on this car so you won't have any kind of stopping issues whatsoever. This car has all the factory stamped steel suspension components on it yet. So again, nothing's been modified. So you got the stock uh, lower control arms, stock upper A arms. Uh, you've got this brand new sway bar in the front here, all new mounting hardware and bushings, sway bar end links, all in excellent condition on this car as well. Uh, again, we're staring at the bottom of the oil pan here. This is a big block Chevy. Um, a 396 cubic inch motor. Uh, we'll take a better look at that once we go underneath the hood as well. Front cross member, you can see how nice and straight that is, in excellent shape. Uh, all of the stamped steel components up front here in good condition as well. Um, again, those KYB uh, GR2 shocks are on the front as well. Looks to have all new springs up here too. So again, very tight steering, driving, handling car. Uh, again, this car is going to be very nice to take out on the road for a nice cruise and it's going to have some power too with the big block there if you want to really get on it and have some fun. All right, we have our 72 uh, Nova sitting outside now here in the sun. Uh, you can see nice, shiny, black, beautiful paint here. Uh, we got our steel SS hood. We'll take a look at that as we come around the front there, but we got the uh, those grills there in the uh, or the louvers in the hood there. Uh, all the gaps and elevations are just about perfect on this car. Again, black shiny paint, laser straight the whole way down the side of the car. 
you're not going to see any ripples or waves at all on this car. Um, we've got 396 emblems up here on the front fender. Our um, side marker lights, the bezels, and the lenses in those are in excellent shape. There's no cracks or no chips or anything there. Again, we've already mentioned our wheels and tires, but we'll go over it again. You see we have the black painted steel wheel, that dog dish style uh, center cap there. Again, the BF Goodrich Silvertown Redline Radials 215-70R15s up here on the front of the car. Uh, on the back side of the fender, we've got the Nova Script emblem, and then we have those uh, the louver accents here on the back side of the front fender. You also notice on the bottom of the rockers here, we've got that bright rocker molding trim down here, and that continues on to the back corner panel, but we'll see that as we get back here. All of the bright work, the trim, the moldings, the whole way around this car, the windshield, the drip rail moldings, all of the trim around the top of the windows here and around the back glass, all of that excellent condition. There's no, no scratches. You don't see like any kind of buff marks or anything on it. It's polished up nice and looks very good. Chrome mirrors both sides, both on the driver's side and the passenger side. Now again, 72, you do have the wing window. But again, all of that bright work, that trim around that window in good shape and the rubber moldings around there too in excellent condition as well. You see the door gaps, both on the front side and on the back side. Pretty uniform there. Elevation is dead on on this car. So again, you won't need to adjust the door at all on this thing. Let's go ahead and open it up real quick here. Just take a look from what we can see right here. Your weather stripping here, the rubber seals, all new. There's no tears, no chunks out of these. Again, all new. And again, you're not going to have any kind of sealing up issues from the elements. You're, you're going to be a leak-free car here. Uh, black on the inside here also. You've got the little rubber bump stops both on the top and down here at the bottom. The GM emblems down here, the decals. You got that door emblem in here too, the sticker that has some of your information on it as well. Uh, what we can see here just real quick are uh, inter interior door panels. Those are in excellent shape. They have all the mounting hardware in that they should. Um, the door sill or threshold place that they call them. Those are in excellent shape as well. Uh, we'll look at the interior a little more in depth a little later on. But again, just wanted to go over those few things with you. It closes up nice and easy, good solid thud there. You don't have to play around with it. Everything's adjusted perfect. Again, as we work our way back to the rear of the car here, you see just how nice and smooth and shiny that paint is. Again, 15 inch wheels. Uh, on the back though, the tire size is a little bigger, just to give it a little bit of a rake to it. 225, 70, 15s on the back of the car here. All right, here we are now around the back side of our 72 Nova. Again, all black. You see nice big trunk lid here. Again, these Novas had that big trunk lid. Pretty much took up the whole rear of the car there. Uh, you can see the gaps around the trunk. Very uniform, very nice there. Elevation is good too. You can see how it comes right down off of that quarter panel there. Blends in real nice. You can see, as I was talking about before, all of your bright work, that trim around that rear window, in excellent condition. There's no dings or dents in it, no little rub marks or anything. It's polished up really nice. Big old chrome bumper back here. Again, that's nicely polished, you can see. And we do have the little bumperettes back here too as well. Now on our Nova back here, the, the bezels around the taillights are in excellent shape. And you can also see the taillight lenses themselves excellent condition no cracks no chips out of any of that stuff you've got your molding back here along the tail of the car and you also have the ss emblems back here again this is ss styled um, so they've got a few of those styling cues on the car um, you've got the nova script emblem up here on the trunk as well um, let's go ahead and open the trunk up again it's a nice roomy trunk for 72 nova as you can see, it's got that nice shiny black paint on the underside of the trunk as well. You've got those original decals up here like would have been back here from the factory uh, for your jack installation and operation. 
Um, and then again, um, just your caution decal in there too. Nice big trunk area. Again, we've already seen the underside of the trunk. Now we're looking inside. Very nice trunk, nice and no patching. There's no sections in it at all. It's all solid one piece trunk floor. You've got full size spare back there um, with, uh, I don't know if the jack is underneath there. Um, it may very well be, this is the jack stand for it. So I would assume the jack is in there. Nice little trunk mat that fits just in the center section of the trunk. And there are some floor mats in here too if you wish to put those in the car as well. Weather stripping and seals around the trunk. You can see that that is in excellent condition, again, because it's all new. So there's no cracks or chunks or tears out of it or dry cracking, dry rotting. It's all excellent shape, nice, rubbery, soft seals. So again, you're not gonna get any leaks inside that trunk. So we'll go ahead and close this up now. Closes real nice and easy too. And now that will get us to uh, over here on the passenger side of the car and we'll walk our way up to the front. Okay, here we are on the passenger side now. So everything's gonna be the same as what we were over on the uh, driver's side of the car on this on this 72 Nova. We'll just point out a few different things here. Tail light, uh, the, or not tail light, the rear turn signal or side marker lights. Um, the bezels on those, excellent shape. Lenses in those are in excellent shape too. No cracks or chips out of those. Again, I mentioned the bright uh, rocker molding. It's got the bright quarter panel moldings too back here. Again, the 225 70 R15 tires back here on the rear on those painted steel wheels. Um, the uh, BF Goodrich uh, silver top radial tires there. Again, to give it that old school kind of that sleeper look again that we talked about. The bright moldings here up around the drip rail and around the, the uh, side windows here, the side glass. All in excellent condition. I already mentioned we've got both driver and passenger side mirrors. And we'll take a look at the door gaps on this one now. So as you can see, door gaps on the back side and the door gaps on the front side. Very uniform here. And then as far as the elevations, those are dead on. What we'll do is open up the door now and just take a look like we did on the other side real quick. Again, our weather stripping and seals here are all new so again you're not going to have any cracks or tears all new stuff no issues with any kind of leaks again black inside here in the panels the door panels you've got the rubber bump stops both on the top and down here at the bottom as well threshold plates again that stuff is all new so not no marks whatsoever on it our door panels are anchored down with all the necessary hardware so everything is just as it should be here door panels all the upholstery, so your door panels, seat covers, the dash pad on top, the headliner, all of that stuff, even the carpeting, I believe, is to be all brand new in this car. So uh, again, you're not gonna find any issues whatsoever there. It's all in excellent condition. Front seat belts, shoulder harnesses, strapped up top here. We'll take a look at that when we go inside. Again, that door closes nice and easy too. Again, we've already mentioned the Nova script emblems back here on the back side of the front fenders. Those uh, accent vents back here too on the back side of the front fender. Again, we have the 15 inch wheels, two 1570 R15 tires up front, the 396 emblem up here too. And again, the lens here on our side marker light and the bezel around it in excellent condition. All right, here we are now finally here at the front end of the car. So we've worked our way the whole way around. First thing we'll take a look at is this hood before we go and open it up at all. So you can see the gaps the whole way up the hood there, across the back, the whole way up this to the front of the hood. Very uniform, nice elevations also are pretty much dead on. Again, this is an all steel SS hood and you can see probably in the camera real nice how nice these louvers here are in the hood. They are just about perfect there on that car. Again, we have some bright work, some trim work here on the front end here, as do all the Novas. We've got the blacked out grill here with the SS emblem here right in the center. Regular sealed beams on this car for your high and low beam lights. You can see the headlight bezels around are in excellent shape. And these headlights, no cracks in those. So those are in excellent condition too. Nice big chrome bumper here on the front end of the car too. 
got the front bumperettes and our lenses up here for our turn signals those are in excellent condition also no chips no cracks in those at all let's go ahead and open this up and now we'll take a look at what's underneath the hood here again all black hood it's all black underneath here now it's flat black underneath though got all the necessary hood insulation in just where it should be and you can see it's not torn up it's in good shape here on this car now what we have sitting underneath the hood this is a date correct uh, 72 396 cubic inch big block Chevy motor so yes big block motor coupled to that Muncie M24 speed transmission that we saw in the underside videos there this motor here obviously you see it's got the chrome air cleaner on it chrome valve covers it's got a breather back here on the passenger side valve cover it's got the PCV valve over here on the driver's side we've got an aluminum Edelbrock intake as far as the carburetor goes we have a Holley uh, dual feed four barrel carburetor uh, you can see this car is power front disc brakes so we've got brand new brake booster and new master cylinder back there as well uh, power steering car also this car even has the windshield washer bottle in it here and it's got fluid in it so everything's all functioning and hooked up there got the heater lines hooked up here too uh, all the rubber hoses here so your heater lines your radiator hoses that's all new hoses underneath here so you don't got to worry about any of that stuff going awry on the car there we've got stock style distributor stock style coil we also have a stock style radiator in here we do retain though the, the little plastic shroud that goes on this car and we have a seven blade steel fan blade in here also to help with cooling long tube ceramic coat headers um, so that's going to help this motor breathe a lot better too and we've already seen all that nice exhaust work underneath the car um, AC Delco battery uh, mechanical fuel pump looks to have a brand new alternator on it um, other than that you can see everything's black underneath the hood the inner fenders the, the cowl everything on this car black um, so again I don't think you're gonna you know have any issues whatsoever with this car um, nice running driving car the suspensions tight on it the braking systems all new on it and you've got a big block under the hood with a four-speed transmission that's going to get you the power whenever you need it um, and that's what we'll do now we'll go ahead and we'll get this fired up for you in the video and that way you get to see what it sounds like too before you you know decide to either make a trip out or give us a call and ask us any more questions you might have about it on the inside here of our 72 Chevy Nova uh, again all black interior all new upholstery new door panels um, new dash pad here so you're not gonna have any cracks or tears in the dash pad you got the sport style steering wheel here now again this is a factory dash so nothing's been altered whatsoever in this car you've got a tachometer over there you've got the 120 mile an hour speedo and you've got the factory style clock in there as well um, factory heater controls factory AM radio here over here I don't know if you can see that from the steering column or not uh, again that four speed transmission well here we are we've got a four speed center console in here uh, and you can see that that's complete it's also got the, the gauge package in the console uh, and all those gauges, the battery, the temperature, the fuel, and the oil gauge, that's what you have in that console pack. Um, as far as other things here, we've got front seat belts here. So again, both sides, front seat belts. You've got the shoulder harness belts up here uh, in the clips here up here by the headliner. Um, so those are here installed so that you can use them. 
a Hurst shifter down here for the Muncie transmission with the white shifter ball on there for the four speed. Um, you can see all of the paint on the dash just as nice as can be. The carpeting is all new, headliner new, visors, just everything inside of this car all new. Front bucket seats, you've got the headrest here also. Back seats, the upholstery is all new on those as well. And the dome light, you can see that that's, I think you can probably see in the camera, but it's all functioning too. So everything on this car is nice and tight, done just right. And again, everything practically brand new on this car, being that it was a body off restoration um, just a short time ago. So with that said, I think we're all done with our video. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, anything else you'd like to know about the car, um, our website address and phone number will be uh, throughout the video. Um, you can also get to us on our website, uh, but feel free to give us a phone call or shoot us an email. We'll help you in any way that we possibly can.